Hey, yeah. my name is Chet. I'm the lead engineer for the Robus Connect range of products and today we're in my own house and we're going to have a look at a problem we've been having here for nearly two years now. Um, so two years, two and a half years ago, we had this conservatory converted with a cozy roof. As part of that conversion, we put six standard Ultimum CCT selectable down lights in. They were working great. Then we got the kitchen area done a couple of months later and we put the, the brand new at the time Ultimum Connect Wi-Fi smart down lights. But the problem we did have was that when we were turning off the kitchen area at night time, if someone's left this switch on, but you need to walk through, come over here and turn off this wall switch to get this off. So how can we solve that problem? So we have a retrofit solution in the form of our RX200D inline Wi-Fi dimmer. So we can fit this in this circuit and that'll give us full dimming and on-off control of these standard fittings. All we need to install this is the RX200D itself and a short length of cable. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna isolate the power for in here um, I'll move the camera closer and we'll have a look at how to actually install the RX200D. So I've identified this as being the first downlight in the circuit. So I'm just going to remove this from the ceiling. You know, I've got my mains switch live coming in here and then it's looped out to the rest of the fittings. So I'm just going to open this one here. So what I need to do is I need to remove the switch live coming in. We have our RX200 here. Thermals we have here, we have live, we have art, we have neutral, and then we have our dimmed live out. So our main switch live in is going to go to our live art and neutral. So that's power to our RX200 in. Then we just need to take our short length of cable and we need to loop out from our dimmed output, our art and our neutral. So live art and neutral out from our RX two hundred D and feed that into our first sound light on the circuit. Straight in, close up the frame relief. Then we can feed our RX back up into our ceiling void. So that's all we need to do to have full Wi-Fi dimming and on-off control of a full circuit of lights. So we're back now, I've turned the power back on and the RX is installed. To get this paired up and on the Wi-Fi, we're just gonna to need to use our wall switch. So if we turn it on, see the RX boots up. Normal Robus Connect process, off and on three times to get into pairing mode. Two and three. So they'll go into flash mode for us now to tell us that they're in pairing mode. So within the app then, normal process, go in, add a device, light source and confirm the, the network details, hit next, confirm that it is blinking. So it says blinking rapidly, but that it is rapidly as the RX will blink. So it's going through pairing. You can see as soon as it picks up the signal from the phone, they'll stop flashing. So they stop flashing, so they've picked up the signal from the phone. We'll just go through now, register to the cloud and link it to my account. So there, the RX200D has been added successfully. You can click done. So now we're in our control, so we can do dimming. I don't know if it'll come across on camera, but we can dim them down. Come back up. And then we can power them off. And back on. Uh, we've now got full integration with our Alexa um, scenes. We can add scenes for the, the main kitchen area with this area as well. But for now, no more having to use this wall switch. So we'll leave this wall switch on and start to use our phones and our Alexa to control this area. 
So two and a half years ago, we had the 